here it is the new ring video doorbell pro 2 it has head to toe hd plus video and audio hdr smart responses and 3d motion detection and it also comes in with a premium price is it really worth the hype let's find out Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today's the day we are going to check out Ring's premium wired video doorbell, the Ring Pro 2. This is the long-awaited update of Ring's wired video doorbell. Ring has released different versions and models of their battery-powered doorbells, but a truly wired video doorbell like the Ring Pro and also their newly released video doorbell wired has a big advantage that no battery-powered doorbell can compete with, and that is the pre-recording feature, or what now Ring calls advanced pre-roll. This is when the camera will start recording 6 seconds before the motion has been detected, so you're not going to miss the start of the motion event. Battery video doorbells or battery-powered cameras only rely on their PIR motion detection, and will only start to record when motion has been detected, which depending the speed of the motion and as to the doorbells, that is the difference of getting the face of the person that took your package or just getting the good view of their backside. The closest ring battery doorbells can get will be with their 3 plus doorbell, but the first 4 seconds will be black and white and low quality. I'll show this and explain more when I compare this Pro 2 video doorbell from Ring with their also premium priced battery powered doorbell, their video doorbell 3 plus in my future comparison videos. So we'll do a quick unboxing, check out its features, do the installation, set it up, check out the settings in the app, and check out its video and audio quality, and do the usual tests, and also check out its premium features like their 3D motion detection and the smart responses feature, and really see if the price of this video doorbell justify its features and will be a good option for your front door. But I think most people that will watch this video will decide if it is worth it to upgrade their current Ring Video Doorbell Pro. And I will definitely make a separate comparison video between the Pro 2 and the older Pro pretty soon. So let's start by checking out its features. The Pro 2 is Ring's best-in-class doorbell with boosted HD plus video and crisp audio, which you will see and hear later on. It's head-to-toe 1 by one aspect ratio, 1536 by 1536 pixel quality, and has a 150 degrees horizontal and vertical field of view. Now, I didn't really appreciate field of view until I reviewed Wise's video doorbell, which it only has 88 degrees horizontal field of view. Compare this to the Pro 2's 150 degrees field of view and you can clearly see my front door and also the post where almost all my packages are being placed at, just to be out of sight from the sidewalk. And I know the Wise is 5.5 times cheaper than the Pro 2. But I did compare it to the Ring's cheapest doorbell, the Video Doorbell Wired, and if you haven't seen that video yet, I will also link it down below if you want to check it out. The Pro 2 also has the 3D motion detection, where you will know exactly when and where someone steps into your property. And it has a bird's eye view feature where there's another small window that pops up and you can see an aerial view of your yard and know where the motion is from and going to. Now I will talk about this later in the video because I'm not sure about the benefit of this yet. This model, like their older Pro, has built-in Alex A greetings, which is an exclusive Ring Protect subscription feature, and can automatically greet anyone who presses your doorbell, and let delivery guys and gals know where to leave your packages. And this video doorbell, like other Ring cameras, if you're familiar with them, will have real-time notifications, and if you want view recorded events, you need to be subscribed to their Ring Protect plan, which starts with a basic plan for $3 a month or $30 a year per device, or with their Plus subscription which covers the recording of all your Ring devices in the cloud and also includes the professional monitoring of the Ring Alarm for only $10 a month or $100 a year. And for their cameras like this Pro 2, you will have access to people-only mode to minimize false alerts and rich notifications like their snapshot preview and also their snapshot capture, which you will see later in the video. Now time to open this up. First, I can tell you that Ring is going minimalist and they're packaging their new products smaller now. But remember, this is a $250 product and skimping out in packaging and labeling is not a good start. This packaging resembles like a Wise product. So we have the Ring Doorbell Pro 2, advanced technology, ultimate performance, and with 3D motion detection. 
So this is hardwired and needs to be wired into your existing doorbell wires. It has 1536p HD video, two-way talk, live view, real-time notifications, privacy controls, and with Ring Protect Plan, you will get video and photo history, smart alerts, and Alexa greetings. It is dual band, just like the older Pro, 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi. Weather resistant, 6 second pre-roll, head to toe video, quick replies, and 3D motion detection. Opening up the box, we have the Torx driver to use for the security screw. We have the small window sticker, quick start guide, user guide. We have extension wires and wire nuts. We have the angle or corner mount if needed. We have some short mounting screws. We have the regular mounting screws and plastic anchors. And a couple of security screws. We have the Pro Power Kit to be installed on your existing chime box. And we have the doorbell itself. We have the camera lens, mic, light sensor on top. We have the push button which sounds like this. And the infrared LEDs here on the bottom and most likely also their 3D detection sensor. At the back, we have the terminal screws, 16 to 24 volts AC. On the bottom, we have the speaker and the security screw hole. So just like the older Pro, you can pop off the faceplate. And I'm disappointed that it only comes with one faceplate. But you will get a digital coupon for one free additional faceplate. Hmm. So on the side, we have the setup button. Okay, I'm disappointed. This is a $250 product and Ring skimped out on their packaging and accessories. If you've been a Ring Pro user, the unboxing will be a bit disappointing for you. Anyways, extra and different color faceplates together with a retrofit kit plate and wedge kits are available for purchase at Ring's website, which with their older Pro, it was and I'm hoping it is still included. Well, time to install this. First, turn off power to your existing doorbell. Find your chime box and open it up. Screw in the new Pro power kit to either the trans and front terminals and make sure to keep the existing doorbell wires in place. Position and stick the power kit and replace the cover. Remove your existing doorbell or video doorbell. And because luckily I'm an old pro user, I will repurpose and use my old retrofit kit in this install. So just screw in either of your doorbell screws to the terminal screws at the back of the video doorbell. Align the doorbell and screw it into the wall. So screw holes line up with the older pro version. Power up your doorbell and time to set this up. Download, sign up, and log in to the Ring app. Scroll down and choose Setup Device. Click Doorbells. Scan the QR code which is on the side of the doorbell. Name your doorbell which I'll name mine Pro 2. Power kit is installed. I have a mechanical chime. And I will get an email on how to redeem a free faceplate in my choice of color. Thank you. Wait for the doorbell to enter Setup Mode. I notice here that I could barely see the LED light. Then I have to press the Setup Switch you will see it is barely visible. Wait until the doorbell is connected to the app. Choose which Wi-Fi you are going to connect it to and wait until it is connected. And if you have your Ring account already set up with Amazon Alex A, it will also be automatically added and set up with your Echo devices. Update the firmware if needed. Time to put back in the faceplate and secure it using the security screw. Time to check out the settings in the app. In the main app page, you will see your doorbell with your recent snapshot. And when you click on it, you will go to Live View, which loads up decently quick. You will see the whole 150 degrees field of view. And if you want to see the regular 16 by 9, you can click the double arrows and you can also choose to set it in full landscape mode. And you can move it up and down to see the whole view. In here, you can also start to a talk. And if you have a compatible smart lock, you can lock and unlock your door without losing the view of the doorbell. Nice integration here, Ring. Going back, you will see the timeline of events and you can scrub to the right and you can see the snapshot capture, motion events, where you can see the bird's eye view and the dots where the motion has started and ended. Click on the gear icon on the upper right corner to get to the camera settings, where you can toggle on or off the ring alerts, motion detection, and motion alerts. And you can also go back to live view from here. And we have event history where you can view and download past events. This can also be done in the timeline. We have the mode settings if you want it more streamlined with your other Ring cameras. Link devices to integrate this doorbell with other Ring devices. We have motion snooze if you want to snooze the alert from 30 minutes to 4 hours. Remember, it will still record the events. Link chimes if you have the Ring chime. Device health where it shows the doorbell transformer status and Wi-Fi strength. 
We have motion settings where you can add and edit your motion zones. Adjust the motion sensitivity and this is where you're going to set up 3D motion detection. Now you have to set this up initially for it to be accurate. You have to mark the location of the doorbell so you can move it around to pinpoint as accurately as you can where the doorbell is installed. Click continue and adjust the angle of the doorbell so it will coincide with what the doorbell sees. Click continue. Select the distance how far it will detect and up to 30 feet. Back to the motion settings, Ring also has people only mode which it will only alert you when it detects people. Then we have smart responses where we have Alex A greetings, change how soon it will start answering from right away to 20 seconds. Delivery assistance if you want to customize on what you will say on how to leave your package. You can also set quick replies but you can only use this or Alex A greeting one at a time and not together. I'm not sure why. It will also have the response time and you can pick the reply message. Now this is for automatic replies but you can also use this manually and there will be an icon in the live view and this you can use this in real time when answering your doorbell. Then we have device settings where you can change your video settings and toggle on or off HDR or high dynamic range and color night vision. And on night vision where you can choose standard where the Pro 2's two infrared LEDs will turn on. Wall nearby, it will only turn one of them to minimize glare. And well lit area if you have some lighting at your front door. Now time to do some testing but before that if you find this video and my other videos helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell notification so as to get notified when I upload product reviews like this video, product updates, comparison videos, and long term reviews. Thank you. So this is the video and audio quality of the Ring Pro 2 and this with the HDR turned on and uh, 150 degrees field of view all around and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the video quality of the Ring Pro 2 at night and this with my front porch light turned on, my solar motion light is also turned on and also the infrared LEDs are turned off and the color night vision is turned on. So this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the video quality of the Ring Pro 2 uh, video doorbell and this is with no lights and the color night vision is turned off and also the infrared LEDs are turned on and the night vision is on standard mode. So this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the video quality of the Ring Pro 2 at night, no lights, and the infrared LEDs are turned on, and there's actually only one infrared LED. This is the uh, night vision or the infrared LEDs are on the wall mode. That means uh, if the doorbell is facing the wall, I guess, to prevent glare. So this is what it looks like. Uh, only one LED is working. So this is when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So we are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Ring Pro 2. And I'm on my LTE connection and it is 1010. Let's check it out. There you go, you get a notification and when you click and hold, you will get a snapshot preview. And when you click on it, it will get you to live view and also watch, you will be able to see the bird's eye view and where the motion is. Okay, so it's 10, 12 and it's been about a minute and let's see what the cool off period of the wrong 
Ring Pro 2 would be. There you go. So, it's less than a minute. Okay, so we are going to check the uh, doorbell push to notification speed. There you go. It is pretty quick. And it loads up pretty quick also. We and can't answer the door right the now. The bird's eye view. But if you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. And I have the quick response. Uh, yes, can I help you? Uh, yes, can I help you? Uh, yes, I was just wondering if Life Hackster was here. Uh, sorry, he's not here right now. Um, you wanna leave a message? Uh, yes, I was just wondering if Life Hackster was here. Uh, sorry, he's not here right now. Um, you wanna leave a message? Um, yes, I just had this package and he just needs to pick, come and pick it up. Okay, well, I'll let him know. Thank you. Uh, yes, can I help you? Uh, yes. I was just wondering if Life Hacks here was here. Uh, sorry, he's not here right now. Um... You want to leave a message? Um, yes. I just had this package and he just needs to pick, come and pick it up. Okay. Well, I'll let him know. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So we are going to test the uh, Porch Pirate test for the Ring Pro 2. Get the package in there. I got the notification. the package outside if you'd like to leave a message you can do it now we can't answer the door right now but if you'd like to leave a message you can do it now hi we'll be right there sorry we're not interested thanks for stopping by if you'd like to leave a message you can do it now hi please wait it may take me a moment to answer Welcome. This is Alexa. May I know the purpose of your visit? Uh, UPS delivery. Does the package require a signature? Uh, no ma'am. Okay, please leave the package behind the post on your right side. Bye. Okay. Does the package require a signature? Uh, yes. I have notified the homeowner that you were here. Please come later or contact package receiver by phone. Bye. Welcome. This is Alexa. May I know the purpose of your visit? Uh, pest control. Sorry, I cannot help you with that. I can take a message or assist with package delivery. What do you want to do? Um, I'll just come back later then. Sorry, I cannot help you with that. I can take a message or assist with package delivery. What do you want to do? Bye. Bye. Show Pro 2. Okay. And you can do two-way talk. Someone is at the Pro 2. Uh, yes, can I help you? I was just wondering if Black Ox is here. Uh, yes he is. Um, he'll be right there. 
Well, what do you think guys? Initially, and I'm still bummed on the unboxing and what comes with the $250 doorbell. And this is coming from a Ring Pro user, which we were spoiled with extra accessories that comes in the box with the Ring Pro, like a choice of colored faceplates, corner and wedge kits, and also a retrofit kit mount. But the overall improvement in video quality with less compression and audio quality, plus a very usable field of view, makes this a worthy upgrade from the older Pro. The smart responses with the Alexei greetings and quick replies will now be way clearer. Now, I'm not sure yet with the 3D motion detection. As far as I know, it is not linked or has something to do with improving motion alerts or motion detection. You will still have the motion zone, sensitivity, and people mode for that. And I think it is only used with the bird's eye view feature. It is cool, but I don't think it is a necessary feature that will make you need to buy this doorbell for. As to the basic video doorbell features, it is as reliable as the Pro, and even with the new ring doorbell wired, which I also liked and we'll do a separate in-depth comparison between these three models in my future videos. At this time though, this video doorbell will stay in my front door. And Siren is one feature that it is missing, and I'm pretty sure it can be easily done with a firmware update. And I wish the resolution is a bit higher, like 2K quality. But overall, it is a pretty good video doorbell. Any questions? Comment down below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.